Well, earlier this month, we told you about an EpiPen shortage. It's causing concern for some parents whose kids are heading back to school. This week, the FDA approved a new generic version of that drug, and that could mean more EpiPens available at a lower cost. Here's First News reporter Alexis Walters. This past Thursday, the FDA approved a brand new generic EpiPen from the drug company Teva. And it's still going to be prescription. Hopefully the uh, the price will be low enough. We don't know a lot of information about it. While the cost and release date aren't known, Teva did say they're putting all their resources into getting it out soon. Pretty much there's three wow. products. There's, there's Myelin and a couple. There's the AbbQ and the Adrenaclick. The cost of production for an EpiPen is around $20 to $30, but they're sold for hundreds. With so little competition between EpiPen brands, the cost to buy this drug has been high. Adding to that competition, could mean they become slightly more affordable. Well, these things should be free because there's not enough. That it, 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 the, the cost of the free means that no one will covet it, no one will uh, abuse the price of it. Dr. Khan also says the number of people who actually need the EpiPen for life-threatening allergies is low. Let's say 100 patients that have peanut allergies, I'd say like one or two. One thing is for sure, adding another manufacturer will help get EpiPens back on the shelves. This adds another another manufacturer into the marketplace to help take some of the burden off the other manufacturers. Alexis Walters, WKBN 27 First News.